Hey there, my name is Anup from NextGen and in this video we are going to learn how to manage multi-attribute variables products in WooCommerce store. So if you don't know how to manage basic variable product creation, so you can watch simply this video and get no more about it and then come back to this same video because it is kind of little bit advanced video in variable products. So let's get started. In this video we are going to learn this example. So here I have created a quick example of baby pink and yellow. So if I'm selecting baby pink in 24, uh, 22 size, it's showing me 900 price. And if I'm saying I am, I want 44 size, so it's showing me 1000 rupees. And same thing, if I'm going on a, on yellow color and for the 42, it's showing me different price. And if I'm in yellow, I'm going on a 44, so it's showing me the different price. So at the end of this video, you will be able to create the complex product like this, which comes under a variable products. So first of all, uh, let's create a new product. You have to go on the add new. You have to paste the name. Uh, let's say we are saying variable. Then you have to write the description. Let's copy paste the description. This is the description and then we are going to make it variable product. After making the variable product, you have to create the attributes. So you have to give color as a first attribute then you need to add two colors in this one color is baby pink and second is light yellow so we are saying baby pink and the light yellow then you have to add another is size then in size you are selling this particular suit in 42 and 44 so we are saying 42 and 44 then you have to click on used for variation and used for variation as we did in the last video then click on save once you save this you have to come on the at variation part and in variation again you have to click on create variation from all attribute it will automatically create all the combinations all the four combinations so again you have to click ok now four variation has been added successfully now you have to again write the each entry in this so you can do what you can down this and you're writing baby pink 0142 it's your internal coding how you want to manage your stock so you can write anything here the main thing is the pricing part so the baby pink is thousand rupees uh, let's say let's check the price so baby pink in 42 size is 1100 and the sale price is 900 so baby pink in 42 size is 1100 and the sale price is 900 then you have to click on manage stock if you want to manage the stock and i have 45 pieces of this then i will close this by clicking on the same i'll move on the next one this is the 44 of the same baby pink so i'm just writing the sku again in a logical manner so I'll paste this and I'll replace the size 44. The regular price is in the baby pink. If I'm going with the 44, is 1200 and 1000. So it's 1200 and 1000. Then you'll click on the manage stock, and we have around 25 pieces of this particular piece. Then you have to minimize this by clicking on the same drop down. Then you have to go on the light yellow. You will paste this and you can write the color or light yellow and this is a 42 the regular price of the light yellow in the 42 is 1200 and 950 so it's 1200 and sale price is 950 then in using manage stock you can manage the stock and we have let's say 30 pieces of this and again you can minimize this and maximize the 44 you click on the 44 it's 1200 and 1150 so we are saying 1200 and 11150 the sku of the light yellow light yellow and it's 44 right so you can manage stock and you can write your inventory let's say we have 45 then you have to finally click on save so we have created all four attributes and after clicking I have updated all the stocks and the pricing then you have to publish this product after pub publishing this product you can preview and after doing preview you can see 
I'm getting the price range because it's a variable product. If I'm clicking on a baby pink and I'm clicking on a 42, I'm getting 45 in stock. 1100 is the regular price, 900 is the sale price. If I'll match this price for baby pink with 42, so I'll go in the variations and I'll go in baby pink and 42. So you're getting 11,000 as a regular price, 900 as a sale price and 45 as the stock. So this is how you can create a variable product and these images and the slider you can update as I told you in the simple product video. In the next video, uh, we are going to learn a little bit more complex example with the permutation combination. What is the possibility? Because see, uh, most of the time you just very like in the baby pink, you have only 42. In the yellow, you have 42 and 44. So how you can manage the other attribute on the based of first attribute so we are going to see how we can create that that kind of product in the next video so see you in the next video bye bye